today's special edition, we will only concentrate on the drops and rate them. Trying to find a way home You don't have to stay, stay, stay Hey guys, welcome to the studio. Today I've been producing a little bit of music, DJing a tiny bit just because it's fun. I also repaired something and I took care of... I, I have to close the door. I also managed to redo a couple of things in the secret room. This took almost half of the day. It's a huge project. Someone asked me when I will reveal actually what's inside the secret room. And just out of a joke, I said, one day, if I make it into the DJ Mac Top 100, which will never ever happen, then I will reveal it. Yes, so it's time again for track submits. We haven't done a track submit edition in a while. It's a segment within my daily DJ and producer vlog where you guys send me songs. I listen to them and give you feedback. Today is special edition. We will only concentrate on the drops and rate them. So let's get started with the very first one by Revy Bess. It's 114 BPM bass house song. A very, very simple one. I have honestly to rate it at two out of 10. It's not necessarily really good because the break is just like the drums and the bass without the kick. And then on the drop, the kick is just introduced. And I think one or two bars before some of the hats go away, but that's pretty much it. Like no effects, no excitement, no automation. There's really nothing to it. There is not like a silent part before or vocal before or maybe a drum fill, something to introduce the drop in a proper way. So this is really, really basic. I think this needs quite a lot of work, but um, maybe the song is just from someone starting out. I actually don't know. So let's keep it at that and just move on to the second one by Signal Fields called Galactic Flowers. A lot better, a typical simple progressive house drop because progressive house is all about those chords, those synthesizer chords, the automation, the cutoff is opening right before the drop, which gives you this rising effect, this brightness that just hits you on the dance floor. And then the kick underneath that starts everything pumping. It's really like a classic progressive drop. There's not much you have to add to it. I think this basically works as it is. The mixing could be a little better, the synthesizer sound a little more refined, more acute and this kind of stuff, but it's working. So I would give it a six, maybe six and a half, cause it's good for its style. Groovy Clubby by Nick Giano, Close to My Life. That's a really good one. This could be actually out on Beatport. It's a simple tech house, deep house kind of song. Very groovy. You got the, the break, which is like a little more empty. You got the little vocal with the facts on top, then the reverb tail, and then like really a break, like a real break just before the drop hits. You could extend it a little and make it more extreme by actually introducing silence. This can work really great in a club, especially if you DJ a lot in front of huge crowds because they will then start cheering and clapping and everything. This is a more moderate approach. The reverb tail fades out, the vocal ends, 
and then it just hits full on drums, kick and everything. It works, it's simple, but that's exactly what you need for this kind of style, everything else would be too much. So let's give it an 8. This was by Aeon, Midnight Air. It doesn't really perform that well, actually. I mean, there is a break where you have less going on. It's all about the contrast. And then the kick is introduced again, but it's not heavy enough. It sounds actually like in a lot of pop songs where you have like a break where it's just like the voice and maybe pad and then like a drum section that builds up to the actual drop. But here in this case, this is the actual drop. It sounds more like the, the half part that comes before the drop to build up to the drop, but it actually isn't. So I would love to hear a kick that is stronger, a bass line that is stronger, and then maybe removing some of the hi-hats in the break and also on top of the drop, at least the first section of the drop, to make it very clear and, and like kind of empty. That's what you're going for, for most drops at least, to have less in there, but more impactful or actually to have more in there. It's really about the contrast. It depends on what previously happens within the break. Really good by Callisto Ascension. That's the track name. It's good. Like the build up is really good. It starts slow. It's it's like the right pacing goes up, up, up. And this is like a classic future bass um, build up and drop because it has like a drum fill right before it hits. This is very very typical future bass. You could also do this, for example, in the like Tech House song, but it would sound odd. It doesn't fit into that style. You would have to replace the sounds, um, the samples by other samples that sound more old school, kind of. This right here, classic future bass, the snare, everything is right straight out of a sample pack for future bass, and it works. I would say this is definitely technically the best one, so let's rate it at nine the mixing isn't perfect the rest of the song needs some adjustment but just speaking of the build up and drop it's actually pretty pretty good like someone here understands how it should be how it can actually work on the dance floor or on the radio depending on where you listen to this kind of stuff that's pretty much already it with track submits if you want to submit your song if you think you make better music than these five there's down below in the description a link just click on it fill everything out submit it and probably in the next one to two weeks i will do another episode now it's about time to work a little bit on music and then there are actually two things i have to take care of two special things so definitely stay tuned so first up, something really quick I have to take care of. I didn't have the time on Ibiza two weeks there was like too hectic. So let's do it really quick. So much better. Like I like this is like three weeks in the making. Finally looks good again. You might not think that's actually not that interesting because I said two things. The, the second thing is the big one because it's something I haven't shared with you in the past four years since I started doing the vlog and that's actually the studio of my dad. It's the most insane place on the planet. So um, here we go. Now it's all just a memory. Unfortunately, my dad is getting his windows replaced tomorrow, so he covered his entire studio in the blue stuff to make sure no dust is reaching his paintings, but that's what they look like. My dad is an artist, my mom as well. This right there is one of her works, so I grew up in an artist family, which was crazy, maybe something for another vlog. I will also try to go to his studio again and show it to you fully, 
today was just like a little sneak peek. Like it's it's insane. There is so much stuff you cannot imagine. So many rooms. It's so huge. There is like it's insane. Like really insane. Let me know if you're interested to see his entire studio, maybe also my mom's studio. And we will see us tomorrow again, back for another vlog in the studio Just making music.